time I come home, I stop here and just look for a minute. You want to look with me? Sure. Jezreel. If you dug straight down, far enough there, you'd find the ruins of Megiddo. You'd find the very same paving stones that Joshua walked in when he conquered it. That's Abu Yesha. It's an Arab village. To the left is Don Daphne. Do you know your Bible? In a Presbyterian sort of way. That's Mount Tabor. I remember where Deborah gathered her armies. That's where she stood when she watched Barak march out to fight the Canaanites. So Barak went down from Mount Tabor and 10,000 men with him. It's in the book of Judges. The Canaanites had 900 iron chariots, but Barak had men 3,200 years ago. That's when the Jews first came to this valley. It wasn't just yesterday or the day before. Isn't your father's name Barak? In Russia, he was Yakov Robinsky. But when he came here, he took the name of Deborah's general. He called himself Barak ben Canaan, Barak the son of Canaan. And this valley became a Jewish land once again. He can give you the date that every clump of trees was planted down there to the month. Don't get excited. We're not debating now. I'll grant anything you say. No, I just wanted you to know that I'm a Jew. This is my country. I do know. I understand. Sometimes it's not that easy. It's the easiest thing in the world, Ari. All these differences between people are made up. People are the same no matter what they're called. Don't ever believe it. People are different. They have a right to be different. They like to be different. It's no good pretending the differences don't exist. They do. They have to be recognized and respected. I recognize them. I respect them. Don't you understand that, that you make me feel like a Presbyterian when you can't for just a minute or two forget that you're a Jew? You're wrong, Ari. There are no differences. <laughs> 